Hello everyone. The Open Morrowind team has been hard at work and is ready to bring you another release, version 0.15. Let's have a look at it. We've had collision with static objects and interiors before now, however we were perhaps no more than a few centimeters tall leading to a common joke on the forums that we are slugs. Additionally, the physics regarding player movement were a bit problematic and you could run into some issues. In the current version, we've added collision with terrain so that you can walk around in the glorious landscape that came with the last release. The physics are improved and our height has been given a modest increase as well so that we are no longer slugs but perhaps hobbits. We're not quite up to the level of the other races of Tamriel yet, but for now you can roleplay as a lonely dwarf. Walking around, you'll notice that some of the previously static light sources now pulsate correctly. Eventually, they'll even know to stay off during the day. There are many improvements to the form and function of the user interface in this release. For example, new information including faction membership has been added to the stats menu. Additionally, resizing the stats menu now resizes the panes rather than simply adding empty space to the right hand side. We now have the window for accessing containers. Notice that multiple identical items stack as they should so you don't have the window filled up with 100 individual pieces of gold. Crime and punishment is yet to be implemented, so feel free to steal anything you want. Not that you didn't do that to begin with. Moreover, you can now access your goods, stolen or otherwise, through your newly implemented inventory window. Please note the ability to drag and drop items from window to window, and the ability to drop items to the ground from your inventory. In addition to those, we have the trade windows and barter dialogue working as well. For now, you can sell those stolen goods straight back to the merchant you stole them from. There have also been multiple improvements to the dialogue window itself. Previously, the topic pane in the dialogue window was too small for some of the longer topics. This has been fixed by making topics wrap down to the next line when necessary. You might have also noticed that dialogue topics were all lower case before. Topics are now displayed in their correct case and are sorted alphabetically regardless of case. The book and scroll windows make their debut appearance in this version so that you may now have some reading material other than your journal. There are some notable formatting issues with the book window that will be addressed in the future. The floating labels that appear when you hover your cursor over an object are now working, providing much useful information about the objects you may interact with in the world around you. Tooltips are working now as well, which provide the same essential function for some user interface items. Open Morrowind has kept track of magic effects resulting from racial abilities and permanent spells like curses before now. This release brings us the bookkeeping systems for limited duration spells and magic effects from equipped enchanted items. We also have the feather and burden effects implemented which I'll demonstrate with this enchanted curus. Obviously the magic bookkeeping will become more apparent once we have spellcasting and the ability to use weapons and items. Last, but certainly not least, you may have noticed that wireframe rendering was affecting the sky in previous versions, which is not correct behavior, of course. Wireframe rendering is now functioning 100% as it should, which means you probably won't be hearing about it anymore in the future. Sad, really. Our project is moving along at a strong and steady pace, but we are getting to the point where we will need to start implementing things like skills and other game mechanics for which the mathematical formulas have not been yet derived and documented. If you wish to contribute to the project but are unable to code, you might be able to help by figuring out some of these formulas as it would save our programmers a lot of time and allow us to continue with frequent releases. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching. 
If you want to learn more about the project, please visit the website and forums at openmw.org, and stay tuned for future updates.